my god, my friend group, we're, 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 we're in, being included in another friend group. Oh, it's all girls. Oh my god. Uh, am I am I being funny enough in though? Am, am I providing enough? Do I am I being interesting enough? Am I providing value to the group though? Do they like me? You start overthinking. Your social anxiety kicks in, and by overthinking, you become more socially awkward. By thinking more about whether you provide value to the friendship group, you start becoming more socially unapproachable, more awkward. God, man, aren't you tired? Of overthinking? I mean, for me personally, hells yeah, I'm tired of social anxiety and thinking it sucks so much to deal with. I'm so glad that I don't have to deal with it anymore. But just thinking back, like, to when I did, fuck, oh, man, it, it was stressful. Really messes with your head. And if you have got social anxiety, if you struggle with overthinking, when, especially with, like, friend groups and, like, sort of like the social aspect of life the social <laughs> if you are scared of people <laughs> then this can help you <laughs> if you were like me then this could help you so you're thinking back literally like story time right literally just thinking back to like when i had a, when i was seriously affected by like overthinking like social anxiety like well, let's just call this the uh sleepover haircut story like there was one time where it was i wasn't invited there was this thing that literally all my friends were doing they were drinking and they like it was like a drinking party then they'd sleep like like at someone else's places so it's like a sleepover kind of and uh, they literally they was they were just talking about how a moment like one of them when they were drunk they should just got like a razors and like or like clippers and just cut three lines into the back of someone else's head so you had like three prongs it looked like a trident it looked horrible and they, they were just talking about that and it was funny and they were all laughing because they remember it clearly something that they relate to they're they're like oh my god i remember that like oh it's so funny and then i was there not invited and i was laughing but I wasn't really like really laughing not with the group just because they were laughing so it'd be weird if i wasn't and uh that's kind of like how that was like and they were telling me the story because they like knew like yeah we know we didn't invite you so we're gonna tell you the story and it was kind of like we that you could tell that there was that they were feeling awkward telling it because they know that they didn't invite me they aren't bad people no no they're, they're good people like yeah they were kind of shitty friends but then that doesn't mean they're bad people they were good people like they focus on themselves they go to the gym they're not bad people but at the time I was such a socially awkward, overthinking, like, Asian nerd, nerdy kid that it was kind of difficult to invite me. And, uh, granted, they weren't really great friends, but they're not, they're not bad people, but, yeah, like, it makes, it makes things difficult, especially when you're suffering from social anxiety. And maybe this is something that you're suffering with. Maybe you are, I mean, you clicked on this video, so, you, know, you are suffering from social anxiety, but maybe you are struggling with something known as a fear of being kicked out of the group, not being included. What the story I just told you might be one of your greatest fears. Something that you, your social anxiety literally stems from, just not being included. And I have to say, like, I think one of the biggest struggles of like guys being on self-improvement, like self-improvement is a big movement now. Like a lot of, a lot of guys aren't on it, but a lot of guys are. And I have to say one of the biggest struggles for me personally, like I've nearly been on it for two years now. Um, getting up to two years because i have to say one of the biggest problems that biggest struggles for me that i've personally experienced is male loneliness male loneliness man being lonely sucks finding good friends is really hard finding good friends is really really difficult like god man finding good friends is hard and when you find the good friends it makes you hard no <laughs> that's why i have my goal here my goal is to get this channel by the end of 2024 to 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to be saying this in every single goddamn video. I don't care. I will, I will find a way to squeeze this in the video. My goal is to have this to 100,000 subscribers. And there is a reason, right? It's not because, like, I want to make money. No, 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 for fuck's sake. I, I make zero pennies off this. Like, so, like, I, I don't do this for, like, that. The reason I do this is to build a community, right? But to help with that struggle of finding good friends because it's something that i've seriously struggled with and some people might like be thinking like oh why build a community there's always there's already so many big self-improvement in communities yes that's true yeah they are but i'm not doing it for the masses of people i'm doing it for you now the you that i'm talking to behind this camera is younger than me 
Look, making these videos help me as much as they help you. Look, they help me. Like, literally writing the script for this video. It gives me discipline to film. Like, it, I like filming. I like writing scripts. I like creating with new ideas from my own personal experiences on self-improvement. I really enjoy it. Making these videos help me as much as they help you. Honestly, like, if I stopped making YouTube videos, I think I'd probably start fucking up on my own self-improvement. I'd start neglecting all the important aspects of my life. These videos help me just as much as they help you. Talking to as if my younger self, and it, and it is a massive help to help me with my own problems in real life today, now, in the present world. And the thing is, like, you might even get to the point where, like, you have such shitty friends, like me, when I got to the point where I was dealing with, like, all that not being included, you might get to the point where you're like, okay, you know what, screw them, I'm the lone wolf, I'm better off by myself, yeah, like, you might get to that point, and I did, you know, life without friends, just focusing on yourself, just going full, deep, deep into self-improvement, you know, way into it, like, just going straight, focusing on yourself, just by yourself, like, lone wolfing it, and yeah, I, I mean, I did this and I didn't do this for like a short period of time. Like, oh, I did it for like two months. I did this for like a straight up year where I left college and just said, fuck you to everyone who, because I wasn't being treated well, right? I did, I would literally disappear for like a whole year. And I have to say like, this isn't bad. Like this is really, really good for like work, focus, success. Like I literally was like working on this. So I was literally just working on this work, gym, work, gym, work, gym, zoo. Yeah, I went to the zoo once. There were penguins. It's pretty sick. It was actually quite cool. I love penguins. <laughs> I literally was just focused on this. And yeah, granted, I got a lot of work done. I had one popped off viral moment. I now have got a, a decent community, which I share my experiences with and that I love dearly. That supports. That supports me and what I'm doing. And you know, it being by yourself, cutting off like having no friends and doing the whole lone wolfing sort of thing on self-improvement yeah like it's really good for focus and i and i have gotten way bigger than what i was and gym wise not in any other aspect wise but um after a while this life just kind of got life just kind of got really empty without friends it's kind of i don't know how to explain it it just got really empty and in a bad way i don't know how that'd be in a good way in a bad way so the thing is what you need uh, and that, that disappeared is when I found that one good die-hard friend that and that's what you need literally one to like three It could literally just be one good die-hard friend that you can trust completely that guy friend It's like just you and him man Not in a gateway like that guy who knows what you need and he is what you need, right? He looks out for you. He looks out for the best for you Even if it's like something that you might not want to hear. It's the guy that you call and you're like, oh, I don't really want to go to the gym today. I don't have my phone, so I'm just going to pretend that, like, beep, boop, beep, boop. For, I really don't want to go to the gym today. He's the guy that doesn't say, okay, let's let's not go to the gym. He's the guy that calls you and says, no, let's go gym. Right? You promise yourself we're going to be going to the gym. You're bigger than me, but I'm going to be going, right? If I'm going, you're going with me. He's that guy. You need yourself a Jesus. Not in the sort of religious sense, like, I, my... My friend who's like this, that I usually respect, and that is that friend that I can completely trust. His name is, his middle name is Jesus. His first name is Romeo. It's, it's pretty sick. Bro, imagine being called Jesus. That'd be awesome. See, that's the kind of friend that you need. And the thing is, like, right now, yeah, that's a bit difficult because you're struggling with social anxiety. So I think you clicked on here, and here's the, the fast solution to, like, your problem. Like the thing that you can do now that will you will notice and know that, that it starts to make a little bit of a change straight away so the thing that you can start doing now um in this fast solution is a fucking advert is up behind me and it's an ass what is this world come to man what the fuck? wait how do i get rid of it i don't know how to get rid of the ad ah. the thing that you can do right now is the first thing that comes to my mind is meditate and just be more present Look, the biggest problem that you have with the, it's the overthinking that leads to, like, such devastating amounts of social anxiety. Overthinking, thinking that you need to be more valuable, be more funny to the group, if you're being entertaining enough, if they like you. Overthinking all of this, meditating and just being more present really helps deal with that. Like, literally just meditating, like, focusing literally on one aspect, and that's just your breath in and out. 
it helps you be way more mindful, way more present, which is great because that starts with the whole overthinking thing. And no, you don't need to go on a kind of 10 mile hike to the mountains and meditate for 10 years and shave your head and become a monk. Uh, granted, that would be sick and I would definitely want to do that. But like, no, you, like literally I meditate like 10 minutes every morning. Sometimes I do more. Uh, you probably won't be able to do like 30, 40 minutes of meditating. So like you can just do 10 minutes, five minutes even. That is enough to make a change. And I think what I'm about to say now is the more unattractive answer. It's the look. You, that's the fast solution, but you also have the long-term solution. Delayed gratification, good. Like, and this is like the unattractive answer. And like hearing this, you might instantly like click off because it's not something you want to hear. Like it's unattractive. It's the long-term solution to problems. And you might just want to fix all your problems in five minutes in just one video, which that's not how life works. You can't fix everything in life with one video and in five minutes. And that's, if life was like that, everyone would be happy and we're clearly not. So the long-term solution is that the level you are in the social hierarchy equals the amount of levels of social anxiety that you, that you deal with. You see, this stems from a fear from literally tribal times when like we were in tribes and like, what was it, cavemen, like literally so many, so many hundreds of thousands of years ago. This is a fear that stems from them. If you were in a tribe, right? And then tribal times, if you as a man did not provide your value to the tribe, you would be killed or kicked out of the tribe. You would be exiled. And that same fear applies now. Obviously not in tribes, because no one's gonna murder you, mate. That'd be a bit weird, it'd be a bit concerning if that was the case. No, but that fear still stems to now. The fear of not being included, that you don't provide enough value to the friendship group, so you get kicked out of the friendship group. The fear of just not being respected as as a man and as a human being in the friendship group. And this is something that literally could be the the root of your social anxiety, as it was for me. This was the problem that I dealt with for literally years and it sucked. And I honestly had no idea how to change this. And the way you change this, if your level in the social hierarchy equals to the amount of level of anxiousness you have, then you need to level up in the social hierarchy. You need Excuse me. You need to improve that level in the social hierarchy. You need to level yourself up, almost like in a video game. Yeah, I know that sounds ridiculously stupid, but you need to level yourself up. You need to start improving yourself. That you start to go. You start focusing on yourself, improving yourself, your mental health, your physical health, and just by doing this, you become a way more interesting and attractive person. You need to level yourself up in the social hierarchy. You need to bring value this is how you bring value to the friendship group by improving yourself you'll be more interesting you'll be more attractive you'll be more confident just by improving your mental your physical this is how you bring value to the friendship group and this is how you get rid of that social anxiety but yeah that's the long-term solution so you probably want to click off already and be like oh no i actually have to do something Bye. It's like that saying, like, what is it? Don't chase the girls, right? Don't chase the butterflies. Just improve your garden and the butterflies will come to you. See? But that's such a good, I love that quote so much. Stop chasing all the other shit. Just improve yourself and everything will come to you because you're focused on yourself and that is attractive. I once knew a guy who ate a butterfly. Really weird guy, man. It's a really weird dude. I wonder what he's doing for himself now. Probably eating more butterflies. Look, if you're on self-improvement, bro, you, you got this, man. Look, I believe in you. Now you just got to believe in you. Anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah. Turns out the dude who eats butterflies uh, is doing fine for himself. Um, That's kind of good. It'd be concerning if he still ate, still ate butterflies, man. It's really weird. Plus, butterflies are so pretty. I like butterflies and penguins. They're so funny, I love them.